So bit by bit, this sort of this Dutch Empire that was being carved out, and then they sort of you know, they started the butt heads then as well with against the Poles. That is starting to slip away now. As many of the council members observed, Britain is quite clearly sending troops into into um, what is now I would imagine part of the Netherlands Empire to effectively prop up what is happening here. Morocco is bankrupt, so that's going to play into our hands if we did take the Poland. Now, how is what is Poland up to here? They haven't expanded anything here back into the Ottoman Empire. It looks oh look at that they've just taken another territory from the Prussians. Oh, and they've hit Spain. It's France as well. Where are you going? Where is Austria? Go well, I'll be. They're going to hit Portugal. Oh, wow. The plot thickens. Greetings and welcome to episode 17 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Knights of St. John campaign. France has collapsed, my friends. The French Empire is no more. It has been vanquished by the combination of Dutch and British firepower and also their inability to keep their armies together has enabled the rebels and indeed the sort of separatists to be able to take over and crush the final remnants of what was a great empire, my friends. France is no more, and because we've been patient, because the council has guided us into this sort of patient waiting game here where we haven't really sort of overexpanded, we have we've sort of, we've lived within our means. We have that equilibrium, my friends, between a good economy, good trade, but also being able to build a military ready to strike should that opportunity arise. And that has arisen, my friends. Now, we once set forth onto a foray into the New World. And let's be absolutely brutally honest here. We were sent packing by a combination of British and French might. But oh, how the tables have turned, my friends. The tables have turned. Now, with the French finally gone, we have now the opportunity to, to absolutely take what could be a turning point here for the order. It really, really could be. And where is that turning point possibly going to come from? Here, my friends, the new world. Once again, we launch in here. But you can see here, very, very strange, the pirates have been able to take... We did remove the pirates from the Leeward Islands and also from Trinidad and Tobago. They have come back here, so that would possibly indicate a weakness or not even... maybe even a lack of sort of push by the powers here of, of France and even Britain and even the Dutch, dare I say, to actually eradicate, remove this pirate threat here. They're quite happy, or maybe they're unable to even remove this pirate menace here. Because remember, the pirates can absolutely be a real thorn in your side if you're not careful. But our, our targets lie deeper south, my friends, right here. The very, very sort of edge here, the very fringe of South America here, right on the edge here of the New World, as you can see. French and Dutch Guyana are both in rebel hands. What an opportunity here is presented in front of us. And look at the mineral wealth that is here from this, these two regions here. It is absolutely outstanding. 
spices as well. Here's spice plantation. We've got a sugar plantation here. There's a uh, forest logging camp. Two fully upgraded, fully upgraded commercial ports here. Absolutely fantastic. And also, my friends, as I was saying here, the, the, the potential even even a wall settlement here for defending doubt. This is absolutely incredible, it really is. And these are the regions we're going to go for. As you can see, deep in the Amazon, as it were, really deep in the Amazon, right on the edge of the Amazon forest here, it really is on the coastline here. There's not much movement elsewhere, but we can and we are going to strike here. It's going to take a lot of our resources here, but the difference is, the difference is, we are now ready militarily. We have trained our troops. We have given them the best equipment and the best training. We have invested in our armies because we have the trade and the sort of the resources, but mainly because we were patient. Patience is a virtue, my friends. It really is. The council has been an absolute wonder here. It really has. It has guided this campaign to where it is at the moment. This could be the turning point because once we've dealt with the Dutch and French guard and rebels here, and we've got that income coming flowing in, then we are going to turn our attentions here put to the island to the pirates and then my friends we are going to turn ourselves it, our gaze our ire as it were to the to the British here because the British have for the most part been a real thorn in our side let's not let's not beat around the bush here and they do have still substantial look at that navy that has an absolute monster of an of a navy it really is but the but they are propping up the Dutch government here be under no illusions here because as you can see Austria and Poland are absolutely rampant here in the Euro in Central Europe. Look at Poland. I mean, it is an absolute behemoth. It is a titan. It really, really is. And because of that, my friends, excuse any noise in the background, my friends, you probably know who that is. Looking for attention, but you can see Poland has moved all the way down. It has its its sort of its tide mark here of Belgrade, and it's sort of in here in the south and up north here, the tide mark here of Hanover. It's sort of main or furthest conquest we see into Europe and it is bordering now Rhineland but it's also bordering this very small border here between Amsterdam and Hanover itself now in between that is sort of the Austrians have a quick look of how they are standing up together here are they at war with each other yes they are so there's quite clearly going to be a clash here in the centre here oh, what a clash it will be we have our spy here in Britain, just to keep an eye on things, because eventually we need that intelligence. Remember, intelligence here, reconnaissance, is absolutely vital here to any potential move against Britain in the future. That's why we've got our spy here. So our spy is here because we need to keep an eye on what's going on. We're actually going to move him more centrally here. Panucci is going to be moved much more centrally, just so we can keep a broad eye here on what's going on. In fact, we'll actually, just gentlemen, thank you. Keep an eye on what this fleet here is doing, because that is a still a monstrous fleet, even though it isn't the, f the, you know, the finest fleet you can possibly see. It has been in a couple of fights here, but as you can see, they've got a lot of money coming in here. But Poland is constantly attacking Greenwich here, and that is to our advantage. It really is. And as you can see, a lot of money coming in here, a huge amount here. 7,000 for, for the Dutch coming from Le Havre. They've also got Antwerp, which is, of course, a military hospital, which means they can produce the finest ships, but also Rotterdam. It's 1,722 here, but look at that, 10,000. Between these two ports is 17,000. 17,000 gold is coming in here, and they've got a dry dock here in Brest as well. But as you can see, they're being hit here, potentially by the Spanish, but the Spanish did have their own problems, but the Portuguese have come under pressure here and a, a lot of a, a lot of pressure from the Austrians who so for some reason have just swung right around the Mediterranean into the Atlantic here and struck against Portugal that is something to keep an eye on here many of the council are also really courting that we go for Morocco and Tangier here to get rid of Morocco once and for all and gain at least part of control of the uh, Gibraltar Straits which of course we are going to do that and there was even a call for us to move into Venice but if we moved into Venice it would bring the Spanish armies here into that war with us we simply do not have the capacity yet to be able to m mount such a challenge yet to both Spain and Venice but as you can see the Spanish are in trouble they're not getting any trade in here at all their economy is potentially going to collapse but if Portugal is removed by the Austrians there's a chance that won't happen but we'll see what they can do. But we're going to keep ourselves below the parapet. We're going to keep ourselves below the radar. 
the, the operation we're going to carry out now is a surgical strike. We are not going to expand any further than the Guyanan sort of regions until that pays off. We have to remember, my friends, our economy is absolutely vital here. We just cannot be suddenly producing, you know, hundreds and hundreds of recruits, you know, dozens of regiments, because we've got two extra uh, um, regions here. And although they're mineral wealthy, that doesn't mean we just sort of go haywire and start spending, because you must always spend within your means here. We must keep our spending down and we must live within our means because otherwise we're going to overexpand, we're going to overproduce, we're going to hit bankruptcy and then woe betide us, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So the, once again, the advice from the council has been exemplary. It really has been a wonder to see and it's only because of the, gu of the guidance of the council are we here now, only now because of the guidance of the council are we able to take this fight to the rebels there because of the patience that you've garnered here because of the discipline that you've instilled in this campaign here that is the reason why we are now we've even got nearly 11,000 of the bank here as you can see look at our trading coming here because we've got most of the trade nodes in the world are actually covered by ourselves we are the premier trading nation in the world bar none we really really are look at the trade coming in here 37,000 gold is coming in we are simply a magnificent trading nation we really really are now but we can't just simply stand here for the rest of our days we must move on here now we have got this to go to a commercial port we do need joint stock company here we've got another six rate in production to move to another trade node here as well we've also got now another fourth rate which is going to be moved into um, here we're starting to build trying to build our own navy and we do have here this light galleon here now we might just move these in Yes, we're going to move these into the Americas here, just to give us that reconnaissance. Not a reconnaissance, I wish, I wish we could move it with some reconnaissance in force, that would be wonderful. But we are going for a coup de main here, against the rebels here. A coup de main. It really is one of those operations here. And to do this, we're going to have to transfer forces from our sort of our Tunis, our sort of de facto capital, um, to really fill this army out here. So we need, we've got three cuirassiers here, we've got the guns with the uh, the fire support we need. Now I think we're going to probably move in, we're going to keep these gentlemen here. We've got how many grenadiers, we want to try and keep some, we'll actually put another regiment of grenadiers in here. And actually we'll have one of these ships will be the, will be the, the ship that's going to take us there. Now we've got some very very battle hardened troops here. Now to, to replace these gentlemen we're going to have to re fill these ranks up very quickly to replace them. I think we'll take some, some of our veteran forces in here with us. The reason we're taking so many to fight so the rebels is in case Britain takes you know, a sort of displeasure of us doing this, they will send a force in to try and, try and remove us from the, those, those, those regions. The difference this time is we're ready to meet them. We must be prepared to meet them absolutely with everything we've got. We might even send the Royal Cairo. Yes, we will. Now that, my friends, is a, is a wonderfully balanced, but a highly disciplined vet, and with we've just got that backbone of veterans in there, just about that little bit of zeal, bit of morale boost here, some back, some steel to the backbone there of this army. And we've got research, how's research doing here? We've got this, of course, the council has also pushed for us to really push our agriculture, we, don't, we haven't got any buildings here yet we can use. Um, we do need to get a classical university, but to get that we need utilitarianism. There's only four, there's only four turns for that, but we are going here for new model bayonet here, which is going to give us grenadier guards and line infantry. Only six turns for that, so not too bad at all. And also Tripoli has been a, a real sort of keystone of many of the council's advice. Go for Tripoli, madam. Bring Tripoli back under our guise. We're going to do that, my friends. But if we can take these Guyanan territories here, this will really be a massive boon for us. <coughs> now, we are going to move out immediately. We're not going to wait any longer. We're actually going to send in this trio of privateers here. Now, can we actually meet and reach here? What we will do, we'll just land here. Make sure everything is safe. We don't want to take any risks. Let's load them up. Oh, and I know there's some many of the, many of the, many of the councils have also asked to be um, generals and uh, admirals. I'm going to wait until we've got at least five armies, and then I will begin promoting. Now all of the names have been taken down. 
you will be promoted my friends do not worry and also this we've got two admirals as well that are going to be put into um, their relevant posts once we've got the uh, the the sort of uh, the fleet I almost forgot what to say that the fleets then we have here but we're going to move immediately into the Americas here <coughs> we're going to send a little bit of firepower with us here we've got three privateers and the reason we can do that is because we have here we've got two fourth rates and we've also got another one in production here now what we must do is replenish these forces that have left us here what have we got here so we got I think we'll have some we definitely need some couriers here two of these gentlemen we're also going to have another grenadier it's going to be expensive but it's we've got the money and let's make the most of it while we can six four seven seven that'll drop because of the recruitment but if we can get the dispatch these other ships that are here as well and move them into the trade lines then we of course will be sitting rather pretty there but of course we have to be vigilant vigilant my friends Ooh. oh and Spain Spain is also attacking Portugal at the same time they're taking advantage of this sort of this Austrian push here are they allies indeed indeed sir allies here what an absolute turnaround here this could mean that Spain or whoever takes this could be pretty dominant here I'm hoping that Austria take it in some ways because it will keep Spain weakened let's end the turn let's see what happens here my friends but nothing from Britain Austria United Provinces now they're starting to produce more troops they still haven't taken Lisbon I think that Spain is in a lot of financial difficulty here Ottomans Russia my goodness me, Russia has expanded so fast. Sweden, an ally of ours now. It's good to see that they're still strong here, holding against Russian aggression. Oh, ho, 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 ho. building quite a comprehensive fleet here. Oh, I like that. That is wonderful, sir. Look at that. That is an absolute... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. They're going for... They are going... They're going to hit Russia. They're hitting Russia, sir. Louisiana. I've obviously been up against somebody here. Are they, are they attacking Britain then? Now, the Mughals. Now, we have to be... We've got a military alliance with the Mughal Empire. We've also got a lot of trade with them as well. A huge amount of trade coming from the Mughal Empire. We can only hope they can hold what they have here or even expand on it. Many of the council have been asking us to get involved in the civil war here. That could be pretty brutal for us. But if we get the troops available to us, we will actually get involved in this war. Ho, ho, ho. Let's have a look here. Oh, that is an absolute magnificent sight, sir. First things first, let's get these ships into the trade nodes. We need that. She's dropped drop by 2,000. So let's get fame. Is that fame? Fame. Um, we'll move, I think. Yeah, move all these ships. I think we'll go to the West African trade nodes. We've got to try and build up all these fleets as best we can here. Balfour. Can we actually reach down here? Not quite. We don't want to get hit by any. We'll send another one to East Africa. We should have another fleet. Yes, indeed. Hero. Wait a minute. Can he? Indeed, it can. I actually send them to the Ivory Coast. I would actually send them to also to the west coast of Africa. They should get there quicker than the other, their brethren. Now oh, that's a wonderful sight. Look at that, sir. Almost instantaneously we've replenished. We've replaced what the, the units that are already en route to the Guyana. To Guyana. Actually, we might even replenish this demi cannon and move it in for a howitzer. I think that's what we're going to do. Now, what do we need? got cavalry already we've got two cuirassiers I think we're gonna get another <coughs> I think we'll disband this militia once we've got this we'll, we'll get three additional line infantry and a further cannon here and then we're going once we they once they have been recruited we shall then dis disband the cademy cannon and also the militia 
and we're going to start then putting together once we've taken Guyana we're going to put, start to put it together if we can we're going to start putting together a new strike force to take Tripoli right let's see what's happening here my friends let's have oh, oh, oh. oh my word look at that now these have arrived let's let's can they can will they be yes indeed no oh, no they won't but let's have a quick look here what's going on with the, with the the pirates here well I'll be 13 colonies have moved in there that is a monstrous army here uh, oh, and they've been hit here by Quebec as well. So that's, that's why they haven't been a problem. Well, I'll be. So they, they are actually being taken care of here. Excellent, sir. Got Genoa there. Ivory Coast. That's more like it, sir. Thank you. Now we have come here to scout out what is going on, but also to send them into here as well. I think we'll send them to the East Indies. We wanted to see what was scouting out here. What have we got here? Yes, we wanted to scout out just to get that intel. Remember, intelligence is absolutely vital here. It really is. Yeah, that's a pretty potent navy right there. Do they have any first-rate ships? No, they don't. They probably haven't got that far. Let's have a quick look what they've got here. Got a sizable army here. <clears throat> that is exposed quite extensively here. Okay, we're just going to believe ourselves here. Oh, 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 look at that. What a wondrous sight there, sir. Now, we're going to move immediately down. I think we will take Dutch Guyana. Now we've got that reconnaissance here, we've got the ability to recon what's going on here. <laughs> ah, surrender refused. Indeed, sir, so a battle will ensue. Excellent. We have to repair that there, but that's absolutely fine. I think what we will do is we'll actually s see what's going on here. Right, they're safe in there. Uh, Dutch Guyana or Parambrio is going to fall to us. It will fall to the Knights of St. John. Have we missed any, any trade notes here? Have we missed any ships that have arrived here? We've got a good amount of ship. Oh my goodness me, that's a good amount of. Let's make sure we've not missed anyone here, but don't tell me that's another trade note. Oh no, that trade note is not available to us. That's Venice, <coughs> excuse me, New Spain and Russia. We definitely need to increase the Ivory Coast here, which is straight to Madagascar. No, making sure that we're not leaving anyone out here. Three, six, seven, five. So it's actually the Ivory Coast we need to send more ships to. Hopefully, they should get there pretty soon. Now that, my friends, was a wonderful sight there. Now we are going to continue. One more turn, you have to get that fourth rate. We're going to continue our push for our trade because, in the end, although we're investing quite heavily in the ships, it will pay dividend because these ships pay for themselves thrice fold. Now, what's happening here? Munich has been. Oh, look at that. Prague has fallen back to the poles. I mean, what a. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Galicia here in Podolia has fallen to the Austrians. They've basically split the Polish Empire in half. You've got Moldovia, Transylvania, and Serbia on the southern sort of f flank, as it were. And then the northern flank here is all the main sort of part of the of the Polish Empire. But that is a huge, huge split down there. Look at that. They've driven a wedge right through the middle there. Actually, they're point are they at war with Russia? I wouldn't imagine so. No, Venice, Wittenberg, and Spain. I'm surprised they haven't moved against Wittenberg yet, but I'd imagine if they know they got B Munich, it'd be a, just a matter of time. <clears throat> Strasbourg. 
Oh, look at that, it's been hit there as well. Hamburg has been hit. I wonder where this Swedish fleet has gone. I would imagine it's probably gone for St. Petersburg. But we shall soon see. And of course, Britain hasn't done anything yet. It's just sort of loitering here. We have to keep ourselves firmly ready for any substantial attack here by the British. But let's end the turn, my friends. Let's just see if we can get... We don't. They're in friendly minus 43, and that's absolutely fine. New Spain, we've got an alliance. Friendly with New Spain. Are New Spain... No, they're not a... No, of course they're not a protectorate. They're allies with Spain, but not a protectorate of them, which means they're an independent nation which is excellent for us because it allows us to be able to draw upon their extensive uh, mineral wealth here which is of course a huge boost to us here as you can see 7,372 is coming in from New Spain and the Navy is pretty good here I wonder if we can send them any technology here indeed we can I think we'll send them field crop rotations because remember they can the more money they make the more money we will make. We will send them that. We we'll also send them, I think, ring bayonets. I think we'll also send them square formation. I wonder if we can get money off them for that. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Excellent, sir. We're just going to send them that because they're allies. I want to, I, I'd imagine Sweden's probably got all the technology. Indeed, they have. So they don't need any of our help at all here. But New Spain can now start to increase its farms. It's got a lot of farms. And that should help them. They have also should be able to improve their armies as well, which would be fantastic. But well, that, my friends, is our duty down here. We're going to keep a strong eye on what's going on here. But thankfully, 13 colonies and Quebec have made a move against the pirates, blockading them, stopping them from being able to move out. And that will help us in the long run, because we will attack them eventually. Let's end the turn here and see what happens. Now, don't do it, Britain. Do not do it, Britain. Why were they loaded into there? Why were they loaded into there? That is the question we have to ask ourselves. Vigilance, my friends, is absolutely key here. Britain is quite clearly on the move somewhere. Oh, come on, please hit Greenwich. Hit Greenwich. Yes, well done, sir. Ottoman Empire, which is being slowly strangled here unless they've just recaptured the territory here did they just recapture Moldovia I wonder Russia which is just growing exponentially here no, nothing here I wonder what Sweden are going to do Sweden member launched quite an aggressive attack here against them Lo loading up an army but it looks like that army has possibly failed and now they're going to send another army they're quite clearly targeting a specific region here of the Russians but they haven't managed to break hold unless they're just sieging a Pacific area here oh dear ah well done you Spain chasing down the pirates now why is Morocco Morocco is bankrupt yet is still managing to build forces which is rather troubling but it looks like the Mughal at least are able to produce a number of forces here, keeping themselves within this fight. Do not collapse Mughal Empire. It looks like this is, this is sort of a stalemate at the moment here. The borders seem to have been drawn and they're not moving much far away from them. But I'm just hoping that the... Oh, well done, sir. If anything, they want to start crushing in oh. our first fight. Our first fight. How, of course, because they've got the wall city. So, of course, that's why this sort of evens this out, even though we outgun them by a considerable amount. 1,210. We have to take this fight here, my friends. We've got mob. They've got but a lot of bowmen here. And they can hide those bowmen. They can be an absolute menace, but we shall use our cavalry here to absolutely obliterate them. Right, let's begin this fight. The first battle here, my friends, of French Guyana. We shall wrestle control here and then move on with all due haste to take Dutch Guyana. I uh, beg your pardon, French Guyana. 
what a fight the test here we should blood a few of these troops here some of these green troops these men have just come out of the barracks fresh from training here their first taste of action but what they do here might set the f might set the history books for the knights here look at that oh my word what a day to fight here as the cool evening breeze and the sun sort of sinks over the horizon there look at the flags here just fluttering here in the breeze steady lads oh my gosh look at that we've bought the absolute apogee here of fighting power we have available to ourselves now so let's go to this oh my gosh that's a huge huge deployment zone i mean absolutely massive here sloping downwards here even sort of going in this sort of l shape here right the way around here look at that unfortunately the slope is away from us this time so if the if the slope was elsewhere if the slope was reversed this quite clearly would be a wonderful position to put yourself out in because we'd have that that wonderful elevation but we're actually going to s s stay where we are at the moment here i think this is a perfect position um i think best if we set up our guns we've got our cuirassiers we do have three regiments of cuirassiers and we tend to use them with absolute brute force i set up the guns first brought them the patience has paid off here everything we've developed over this time is now coming to fruition look at that let them know that the knights of st john are here general fear not my friends i've not forgotten that many of you have asked to be generals but we're going to wait at least we've got five armies and then we shall start promoting look at that and there in the background there is the city we're after nestled upon the hills there now these grenadiers do we need to include these grenadiers in here no we don't we're going to keep the grenadiers back these are our elite troops the demarcation line back here so the no man land isn't that isn't that large we're going to keep the grenadiers back we don't need to get them involved these are our elite troops we need to keep them for fights that are going to warrant their use and also the cairo royal cairo infantry oh my goodness me look at that an absolute joy to see there. Now, again, we can move them back here. So these are our elite troops. These are our elite troops here we're pulling out of the line. Mainly because we don't need them. And we don't want to sacrifice too many lives here to take on a small amount of rebels. But we mustn't also underestimate the enemy. Because that could be our undoing here. Especially with bowmen. They can hide, remember. And they do hide very well. Let's pull these back here so we can get some proper... Now... We're going to have a veteran force in here. I think we'll have the 5th Regiment with the vanguard of the defence here. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's have a quick look at these troops here. Look at that. Wearing the colours here of the Knights of St. John with great pride, sir. I think we'll anchor these on the flanks here. But we have the 20th Regiment here on the right. 19th on the left. It's a little bit too far away. We need closer cooperation here. 18th on the right. And 22nd here on the left. Now that is a substantial <coughs> amount of troops here. We'll, keep, we'll put the 4th just here. This will be the last of our line here. We want to keep things we want to try and hold back a few regiments. We don't need all of our regiments to be taking, taking part here. So we're going to pull back these two regiments. The 3rd and the 21st will actually be held back. Give them off fire at will. Is anyone else we've pulled back here? Indeed. The 2nd regiment we've pulled back here. I think we'll use the cavalry. We'll use two regiments of cavalry with the 3rd sitting back here. We're going to use the cavalry here to strike out against them. Seek and ye shall find. Now, we've got explosive shell, which we're going to use. We shall also divide our... into two separate camps here. Excellent. Now, we are ready for our first fight of this brand new army that's taken many, many years to bring together here. And our first, our second 
campaign in the new world will it be more successful than, than the first but now we are fully prepared to meet whatever comes our way let's begin There they are, sir. There they are. <laughs> then let us search. Let us search for those gentlemen who are quite clearly hiding somewhere because there are more regiments than this. So they're quite clearly. Move, gentlemen, move! they come where are those additional forces because they have additional forces somewhere <clears throat> we've got to seek them out before they arrive here the guns are already firing come on gentlemen fire We found them. Run, Kurs. Run. There they are. Shattered, please, gentlemen. Shattered, please. Come on, Jai lads, put them down. I'll put them down. They're shattered. Move. The cavalry is already wonders here. Look at this caress here. Move, lads, move. Knights of St. John for the order. Swing right, lads, swing right. Swing right. Your doom comes for you, sir. Armed tribesmen will not help you, sir. Lads. Oh, this has been an absolute massacre. We shall show the rebels that there shall be no, no mercy here from the Knights of St. John. We come to reclaim land that was once taken from us and now we take it back, sir. This is rightfully ours. Excuse any noise there in the background, my friends. Excuse any noise there. General's gone. Who else stands within out? No one, sir. Heroic victory, of course. We lost eight men. We lost eight men. That 
Here's the shield. Wonder of the army we brought with us here. Look at that. They lost 104. They've got. Ah, it seems that they. I think we shall take that fight. We lost 300, but still worth every single penny. We finally, finally taken it. Let's repair this port. Oh, look at this. We can upgrade this plantation as well. Whoa, -ho -ho. Oh, this is an absolute joy. Just look at that. Steam pumped as well. Let's bring the populace under control as quickly as possible. Oh, we have already. The populace has been brought under control immediately. 1,313 here. 4,458 here. Excellent to see. Dutch Garden is now under our auspices. Oh, look at that. Now, let's get these. We mustn't be diverted from what we must always keep doing, and that is constantly supplying the trade lines with <coughs> ships. I'm going to send my thing to East Africa here. Excellent, another ship of the line. Excuse the noise in the background, my friends. <coughs> Guess who that is? As you can probably hear who that is. That is my dog de demanding attention, but it shall not be pulled away. With another one to West Africa. Excellent to see. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, wonderful. Now, let's increase the growth here. I think, yeah. So 1,800 will increase the growth here. <coughs> Look at that, 5,934. Look at the trade coming in here. It is covering both of these. So our tax income is actually all ours, but <coughs> although our tax is not British at the moment, but as soon as we've got Guyana under our control, we've got French Guyana here. I wonder if we moved out, what would that... Actually, it's probably best if we just wait until we can move out properly and take strike this at once. That should give us control, fully full control here <coughs> of Dutch Guyana. Industry is 500, mining is 2,600. Port is 240, so that'll increase the regional wealth here to just over 2,700. Sugar exports and town wealth is pretty good as well. The shortage of food is disappearing. The tax is pretty good but the growth should be increasing pretty nicely here indeed look at the trade here look at that with the Mokal Empire 8,300 here and the Americas of, of course because we haven't got the trade what's the third that's sunk down quite a lot but spices have suddenly risen of course the, we are flooding the world with ivory so of course that's bringing that down but look at that cotton is actually booming here but so are spices now we've got a spice you have got spice here so eventually we'll have that under control. We're flooding the market here with ivory, as you can see here. Not so much spices, but if we can get cotton plantation, that would really be a real boom for us. But at the moment, we're just going to focus on what we've got here. We couldn't, we couldn't move against um, the, the pirates just yet. We could probably land here. But ultimately, we're going to have to move against them eventually. We're just going to have to move against the pirates. Um, what's our diplomatic standing now with some of these other nations here? So unfriendly, Russia is unfriendly, Spain unfriendly, Austria unfriendly, but that's fine. But we do have some powerful allies. Now let's how is Sweden are doing. Where does Sweden exactly go here? <coughs> Munich has been taken here. Glacier is still taken. I'm not sure where Sweden landed. Where did they go to launch those attacks? Because they took, they sent two armies into Spanish re into the uh, Russian region, but I can't see where they've actually been. Plot thickens here. It looks like Russia is attacking Umea here, which is potentially hurting the hostages at dockyard. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. That cold, which is not. Oh, look at that, they're upgrading the commercial port, which is excellent for us. 
that's a lot of money coming in from there as well. Now what about Britain here? What have they got here? That are, oh, ho, ho, ho. Blunderbuss shotgunners, but we've got more than enough to go. Oh my goodness me, they've got British Fusiliers. We've got 13,424 here. I think we're going to make a statement here of intent. Now, here, what have we got here? We've got that and one of those. So we're actually going to disband thus and also the demi cannon. And we're actually going to put in these forces here. We're now going to begin the construction, the recruitment of another army here. Our allies are potent Ottomans, New Spain, Sweden and the Mughal Empire. Our enemies are Britain. We don't have any trade with the Ottomans because unfortunately they have been hit quite substantially by different enemies in the past so we can't really, when we also we don't have the, the ability to have a, an additional port. We do need joint stock companies here. Four more turns here. We shall get a classical university eventually. Now, I wonder if we make this statement here of actually putting a royal palace in here. I know that many of the council have been asking us for actually calling for us to allow Malta to fall and sort of switch our our de facto or our capital to a different location because of the weakness of our sort of position here. We're not actually recruiting those ships at all, still, are we? I think what we will do, we get another fourth rate here. We're going to try and keep our our sort of naval presence as as potent as possible. We should get another six rate here. We're going to keep that trade in coming coming in at all times because it has proven so valuable to us. It really has. Six two seven one coming in here now. Let's end the turn, but let's just keep an eye on what's going on here with Britain. I'm not sure how well. Oh, now that Austria have taken Portugal. Austria has taken Portugal. Now that's a good thing because it now quashes any possibility of Spain being able to sort of have access to an additional land. That should crush their hopes of possibly resurgent here. Are they still at war with the Dutch? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. The Poles are really hitting hard here. You just keep away from our trade lines. Ottomans, Russia, Russia seem to be dealing quite well with Sweden but that's what we don't want, we don't want that, we want Sweden to be still a powerful force, one that we can call upon at any given moment. What are Russia up to exactly here? They're quite clearly moving troops around here. But we are the preeminent trading nation here in this world, we really are. Why is Poland? Poland must be hitting. There must be something along those trade lines they're after here. Come on, Russia, for goodness sake, sir. Sort yourself out. Oh, they ho ho! They've managed to sneak a force around there, but that should be dealt with by Sweden. No, it's not, indeed, sir. 
Wow, they're taking a bit of a pasting here. Well done, Sweden. Marathans. Wow, that's a monstrous army moving up there. Come on, Mughal, don't lose out now. Mughal Empire, which is hopefully beginning to put together a force that can be able to repel these Marathans, because we don't want to beat them to be losing. Looks like Punjabi in the Lahore is actually producing a lot of their troops. Oh, reading that line again. They've crushed. Oh, look at that. Genoa. Or Genoa. Quebec. Oh. We should retreat. Looks like the pirates are actually. Excellent. We are not going to neglect our trade at all. Our trade goes forth. Again, we shall send it to South America, I think. Let's keep the sugar going as well, because we, we flooded, pretty much flooded the, the the world with ivory. Actually, adjust, adjust our... Brandy wine. And we've also got, yes, one eight eight. Excellent. They're both equal here. We shall move these gentlemen up to here to pull more out of this line here, straight to Madagascar. Look at that one five five zero. Eight four two eight four two three. Now let's see what this is bringing in for us here. 589 here. Now we know what's here. The pirates are quite clearly here. Can Quebec deal with that? That's the problem. Can Quebec... Oh, look at that. That's a sizable army here of buccaneers, but still... We are going to move... Actually, we'll move via ship. Now if we move out, what will that give us here? Fully under control, look at that, they absolutely adore us already. I think what we will do is we'll move this ship to here. And we shall land immediately here. <coughs> I think we'll assault this in straight away. What was all that one? We lost 695 but still, look at that sir. Uh, straight under our control here. 4,500. We shall replenish and repair this. What is the... Immediately under our control. And now we can replenish this army. We've taken minimal losses. 4,196. That is a lot of money there to spend on that army. But still, we had to make that move here, my friends. We've made that move now. Wonderful to see here. We won't be upgrading... We won't be upgrading any of these just yet. What's sugar going to bring us here? Sugar... There's only 19. Spot, look at that, it started growing out. 31. So against Ivory again is looking pretty... Starting to grow here again. Cotton is pretty good, but look at spices absolutely flowing here. As soon as we get the trade going here. We've left that vulnerable here, but we've got to... We can move the army back into here if necessary. But what's Britain? Britain can't really do much. I don't think Britain have got much here in the way of... anything here but they could, if they take the 13 colonies here that will be a huge boost for the Brit for Britain this will be our last turn my friends for this particular episode so this will be our last turn coming up now we've got three more turns so we get a new model bayonet drill eight more turns until we get
selective breeding, which will increase that, and we can then get great estates. We can also get threshing machine, which will give us 15% wealth generation from farms. We don't have any anything yet that's going to really give us a massive boost, but look at that, 10,344. That is incredible. Let's end the turn. Let's see what happens here, my friends. Great Britain, Austria. Austria have taken Portugal. What an absolute coup de gras that was there. There's Britain now. Why? For some reason they've pulled away here. Strange. Unless they were engaged by Austria. Are they? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Where are you going, sir? Spain? Poland? Oh, look at that. They've absolutely hit the Dutch right where it hurts there. And they're raiding the trade lines here. Ottomans. Russia, who uh, looks like they've repelled two significant raids by the, the Swedes. Sweden is under a little bit of pressure here, but I don't know why. They have the forces to be able to hit Russia pretty hard here, but I think because they've lost those two armies, what the blazes are they doing there? Come on. Oh, they've lost Malwa here. The Marathans are rampant here. Come on, Mughal Empire, get your act together here, for goodness sake, sir. Looks like they're heading for Punjab here. Oh, look at that. At last they're getting a grip here of the situation. Oh, ho, ho. well done, Quebec. Well done, sir. Pirates gone. 17,000. 12,255. 12,255, my friends there. What a turnaround. Whew. Plus one management of treasury, plus one management of justice. Excellent. Ah, we're starting to build up this fleet here. It won't match the British just yet, but it's enough for us to be at least to stand, you know, slightly with our our chests puffed out slightly here. Let's have a look. Wonderful. Now here, the Ivory Coast. It's dropped a little bit here, so we're not making as much money from Ivory here. It has dropped slightly here, 2160. Let's have a look what Ivory is now. It's down to 30 again. It's down to that's out of 34. As you can see, we really are absolutely swamping the trade. That's arrived. And Q. That Dutch army at a uh, Dutch army should be useful elsewhere. Why it's stuck here in the middle of the Ivory Coast, I have not a clue. But we are starting to build it. Oh, we've got that there as well, which we should also start to include. There. Now, we've got 17,000. Now we're going to start to build and recruit this secondary army. We're going to have Curia Curis Curassiers. We also have an additional grenadier. Now let's get these fourth rate. 
It's going to cost us money, but that's what we've got the Navy for. That's what we've got the money for, dare I say, because the more money we make from trade, no gentlemen, from trade, the more we can do this. 9858, we're going to have, oh my goodness me, that gives us 20,000 in the bank here. How far off? Two here. Then we're going to be with the gr uh, Grenadier Guards. 620 here and 1054 from there. Wonderful to see. Absolutely wonderful to see here. 1924 from here. 1394 from here. Mining is 1680 here. Mining here is 2600. Quite clearly, Dutch Guyana is a much more mineral wealthy region of course We've got steam pump mines here as well we can now hopefully move these forces actually move the forces here so we can actually move back and forth here depending on what we want to guard now we have had of course many of the council saying we should build a fort here as well so of course we can't build here because of the trees and the forest but still and also 13 colonies is still here Let's have a quick look at... Oh, we can't, can we? Let's have a look what's in the Leeward Islands here. Now we've completely smashed in this trade here from the pirates. And they're also cut off here from the, with the 13 with the uh, New Spain. New Spain, you've got Andalusia here, and that really is rampant there, the growth there. But my friends, we've achieved what we set out for. We have finally conquered here Dutch Guyana. We've got 620 coming in from here. We've got 1054 coming in here because of the spices and also of the gold here as well. But eventually, once we're able to really ramp up these ports here to maximum ports here, four trade routes here, it'll open up a huge amount coming in here. But as you can see, our income is 13,033, 27,000 income from trade here. So we're heavily reliant on trade, but that's giving us ability to be able to boost our our navies, to be able to, excuse my friend, my, my former friends, boost our navies and also start building a, a, a fourth army, which I never thought we'd even get to, but because of the council's guidance, because of their patience, because of them guiding this campaign in the right direction, in the, you know, with patience, with diligence, with discipline, we've been able to take this, my friends, and eventually we're going to take all of these islands. We might even strike against the British here, in the Jamaica and the Bahamas here. We might even remove the British. We might even be so bold. But the pirates here, the pirate islands here, really are something we'd lo love to take here. And of course, I wonder if we can land here. We can land forces here and just take them from Martinique. I know, I know now we can take definitely take Antigua because we've got the port, but I'm not sure we can take uh, Trinidad and Tobago because, of course, it is being blockaded. But we shall try and take this, uh, take the pirates out in one fell swoop, if possible, and bring all of this sort of southern region of the Caribbean in, under under the the orders control. That will give us a huge boost here, but also give us a forward operating base with to operate in the new world. It really will prove vital here. This fob for us. If we can take this, because especially striking against British assets here, we've got a strong ally in the region, which we have helped out significantly here. As you can see, they're, they're getting a lot of money in from us as well. Um, and it might even give us a chance to step into the mainland continental America or continental US. And, you know, maybe... Oh, look at that there. Well, that will be... Fort Nashwack here is rebel, rebel held, and so is Newfoundland with a port. They've got logging camp, log two logging camps. They've got a church here. And also Arcadia here as well. They've Oh, look at that. They've got a silver mine here. But nothing much else, to be honest with you. They've got Lo Lewisburg here, but that wouldn't give us much because there's no port here. So Arcadia wouldn't be really much. It would give us, it would give us access to continental America, continental US. But I think probably you found it might be a good thing. If we can just sort of gobble up these sort of smaller regions, sort of stay on the fringes of the Caribbean and the, and the sort of the US 
um, and continental United States, that really would be give us a lot of options here but we've finally secured what our main target was here and that is French and Dutch Guyana but my friends that's we're going to end this episode here um, next campaign is going to be the Ottoman campaign which we have promised for quite a while but I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode my friends and I hope you've enjoyed this run of A Night St. John I've, it's been absolutely wonderful your advice has been absolutely incredible I really really has I appreciate all your wonderful advice so thank, I'd like to thank every single one of you for putting forward your comments, your advice, your plans and strategies. It's been wonderful to read, wonderful to respond to them all. And again, my friends, keep those coming, keep those comments coming down below. It will probably be a while before we get back to this campaign, but boy, oh boy, if we put ourselves in a wonderful position now at the moment, with the, f with the collapse of France, it has opened up a huge door for us, and we're, we're going to step into that door. Now we've got our foot in that door, we're going to kick that door in. Believe me, my friends, we really, really are. But whatever you're doing, please be safe, my friends. Have a wonderful time. And until next time, my friends, bye for now.